Welcome back. As part of Toyota's commitment to carbon neutral by the year 2035, the world's largest automaker is looking at every sector to move to more clean energy sources to power its manufacturing centers and the vehicles they produce. And as Rachel Kopchick tells us, Toyota is going all in on hydrogen fuel cell technology in the big trucks you'll see on the highways. After thousands of miles of real-world testing in the harsh environment of commercial trucking, Toyota is taking its groundbreaking hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric technology from prototypes to production in its efforts towards carbon neutrality. Building a fuel cell drivetrain kit has never been done in one of our plants outside of Japan. So this is a unique opportunity to develop the skills that will lay the groundwork for our transition into a mobility company. Starting in the fall of 2022, a dedicated line at Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky will begin assembling fuel cell drivetrain modules destined for use in hydrogen-powered heavy-duty commercial trucks. The fuel cell kits bring Toyota's electrification strategy further into focus as it will allow truck manufacturers to incorporate emissions-free fuel cell electric technology into existing platforms with the technical support of Toyota under the hood. By offering truck makers a diesel alternative that's carbon neutral and has the quality and reliability of Toyota behind it, we're paving the way for big reductions in pollution in areas where it's needed the most. Toyota will also offer its powertrain integration expertise. That will help truck makers adapt these emissions-free drivetrain systems to a wide variety of applications in the heavy-duty trucking sector. It fits within the framework of where a typical in internal combustion engine would fit, but it's now going to be this uh, hydrogen fuel cell assembly. We hear a lot about hybrids and battery electric vehicles, but we do believe that there's a real need for fuel cell in that overall scope. This is really an opportunity for hydrogen. More hydrogen vehicles on the road supports more infrastructure, supports more consumer awareness, and that's really important. With more than 7,000 employees at its Kentucky Manufacturing Center, it is Toyota's largest plant in the world and is an important economic engine in Kentucky. We often refer to here, uh, this plant here in Georgetown as the mothership. And so we're always very prideful of the fact when we get to see the new technology come here, start here. Right now, Toyota is ramping up the early testing phase with the first expected use of the modules by clients in 2023. This is Rachel Kopchak reporting. And earlier this year, Toyota introduced its second generation Mirai. It's a passenger vehicle that runs on hydrogen and it emits only water vapor. That's what comes out. Yeah, it's in the California and Hawaii markets right now. Pretty awesome. We'll be right back.